Hi there! You can't see me, but I can see you. <laughs> Just joking. This is Mike from the ATV guys, and today we've got a treat for you. We've got the 2022 Polaris General XP 1000 Ultimate Edition. And uh, we're going to go beat on it in the trails. So bear with me. Uh, this is a demo unit from a dealership, so uh, extreme riding, uh, to be respectful to the dealer that loaned us the only demo, I think, in Canada right now of this unit. Uh, this one has a few options on it. It's got the snowplow attachment, it's got the winch, it's got the hard glass front windshield, wiper and washer, it's got the rigid light bar up, and it, that thing is awesomely bright. It's got the seismic mirrors which are aftermarket. There's a rear view, uh, not a rear view, but a rear light still is uh, rigid. These are quite expensive units and this one is shot on some pretty awesome tires because I've been riding it for a while now. Uh, this one is a Polaris brand which is uh, Pro Armor and uh, the brand is the Brawler Crawler XGF uh, which uh, I'm quite surprised because it handles it handles it pretty good and it's on 15 inch tires uh, 30 10 15 which is getting to be the new standard 15 inch all over uh, all over now uh, anything that's premium or uh, super sports especially with Polaris so uh, without further ado let's get inside the cab I'm with my daughter Kellyanne today hi Kellyanne the first thing you notice in this unit is the extreme comfort of the seat this is like a car or SUV so you probably guessed that this one is, a is, is equipped with ride command and it also responds when you have gloves on so you got uh, you got all the the info center here so you can have pretty much everything everything going on the vehicle you got a GP a GPS yes real-time GPS there's also uh, you can have the radio AM FM because it's got the antenna here on the side and uh, Bluetooth so you can have some tools because it's got the aftermarket well it, it's a uh, original Polaris accessory of there's speakers all over this thing it's a Rockford Fosgate system really really nice uh, nice sounding I can't play it for you because of copyright uh, you're gonna have to take my word for it that thing is loud and the sound is nice and clear and it's perfectly waterproof this one's got heating also inside so uh, we won't need that today because it's like 20, 28 outside uh, in the centigrade. So here we go. Uh, one thing I've noticed is the shift. Uh, I always have issues with Polaris shifters. This one is nice and firm and precise. Thank you, Polaris. So this one all, all has also a turf mode, but we're using a all-wheel drive because Polaris vehicles are not 4x4. They're all-wheel drive on demand which is something I like because usually the system is totally seamless <coughs> and it just keeps you planted on the trails. So first things first, let's talk about power. This engine is a ProStar, a ProStar engine, uh, XP series. It pow it's powerful enough to get this thing this thing going without any uh, any issues, without getting bored because this thing, this thing can move. I'm serious. It's got some really good power. It's on par with power, let's say, with an XP1000 uh, Razor. And it's got windshield washers, windshield wipers. <laughs> That's fun. So it's got the juice and it's got the stopping power. I love Polaris brakes. All their side-by-sides have very good stopping power. And the thing is, it's got it's got some serious ground there. I haven't hit bottom on it yet. It's it's a lot of fun, and those tires are very compliant. It's first the first set of uh, of Pro Armor tires that I actually like. I tried two of them up to now, and uh, that's where I'm at with these. I'm picking up a slight vibration in the floor when uh, when the front diff gets activated. <coughs> it's
it's a common it's a common thing with uh, with Polaris some of them do it some of them don't this one's got does it a little bit more it might actually be fixable uh, I'll, I'll mention it to the dealer that loaned it to us it's got that sometimes they can fix it a center bearing or something something might be wrong it happens it's not major but it's just a little bit annoying this one's a four seater and the four seats are like supremely comfortable <clears throat> this is the most comfortable UTV I've ever driven some of them are close especially on the higher on the higher end like uh, we've got a uh, Polaris uh, Ranger ultimate edition with the closed cab and AC and all this stuff <clears throat> but this one also has some performance chops that the Ranger can simply can't match <clears throat> but this one handles it's on uh, Walker Evan suspension adjustable compression and preload and uh, nice sway bars on it it's it's a <laughs> it's an awesome machine it's but it's a it's a huge it's very very big okay <laughs> and it stops on a dime really really nice this is a very very fun machine to drive and even if it's a, a bit of a behemoth in the trails it's still it, it's it's still technically uh, Polaris point and shoot <coughs> You can feel a bit of the heft, but not as much as it is, really. It's really extremely nicely tuned. The, uh, the torsion bars do an absolute awesome, awesome job on, these, on this thing. Really, really nice. It doesn't lean left to right in the trail. Look at this. This thing is planted. If you like long distance touring, uh, <clears throat> this is the machine for you. It drives, apart from that annoying vibration in the floor, <clears throat> which might be just this unit. This is very, very nice to drive. It's nice, it's planted, and it goes exactly where you point it. And I'm telling you, this is extremely rare in this size of machine <clears throat> especially this is in the uh, sport utility segment and there's only three competitors in there there's the commander from Can-Am the R Max from Yamaha and there's this guy the general all of them offer a four seating solution like this I'm testing the brake the engine brake uh, uh, non-existent <clears throat> There is some, but very, very limited. You need to use the brakes going downhill. I would have loved a little bit more engine braking. But hey, you know, that's... I can be picky. It wouldn't cost that much to put decent engine braking in this thing, because there, there's practically nothing there. Let's see the power going uphill, and this is a little bit greasy. It's a very steep hill, so let's go. <laughs> wow okay Polaris defined this segment when they came out with the general back in I think 2015-16 <clears throat> they put the gauntlet down and back then the previous generation commander simply was not there and there was the, the, the Yamaha Wolverine but they, back then they had a uh, the 708cc single which just couldn't handle uh, it's a great it was a great little engine it, it could move but it was nowhere near the horsepower that this this could this unit could put out and now the R Max came and the R Max is in the same type of uh, it's in the same type of thing of, of category the only difference is the way the the way the way you sit in it and the cut the comfort level Suspension is a little bit better on the Yamaha for rough stuff, 
but doing like trail stuff uh, like a hundred under 80 clicks an hour the the general takes the cake out of uh, suspension handling uh, and performance this engine is a little bit more powerful than what is offered on the Yamaha it's got more response <coughs> And it doesn't have a, like triple dual maps and stuff like that. It's got one map and that's it. It's mapped for smoothness at low throttle, but as soon as you pass, let, let's say, uh, one third throttle, uh, you wake up the beast. Then the, it starts, it starts, start behaving a little bit sportier. Because <coughs> it's got the chops to do it. And check, th these switchbacks are like really, really sharp. And this thing can handle it, no problem. Lots of bumps here. Oh yeah. This thing will handle pretty much anything you can throw at it. In, co in comfort. That's the coolest feature. Is it, all, it does all this in supreme comfort. The seats are just awesome. The way the interior is, you're like you're, you're you're driving an SUV. Simple as that. It's like, gosh darn it! <laughs> oh, deep stuff, deep stuff. Whoa, water coming in. Yeah, that was that was a nice uh, 20 uh, odd inches, a little bit more. But still, it does it does well. The tires, I got to commend the tires. Uh, usually, this type of tire doesn't have much grip in in mud. Uh, for some reason, these do. <coughs> very good, uh, very good thing from uh, from Polaris because Pro Armor belongs to Polaris now for a number of years. But this, I love this thing. Uh, and I'm not a fan of uh, of four and six seaters because I think those things are huge. <coughs> they're they're you know they're good to carry people, but it's usually they're not that much fun. But in this segment, <coughs> the R Max, the Commander, and this one, which is the General, they're they're nice. You, you see a little bit cramped in the in the the Can Am. Uh, the Can Am is smaller, nimbler, around the same power. No, a reaction but uh, it, it's almost in another category because it's a lightweight compared to the the Yamaha and uh, and the general but the general is just it's just a high-end it, it, it's it's the Cadillac Escalade of UTVs Not that many flaws on it. Supreme fit and finish. You feel like you're actually driving an SUV. <clears throat> Some people might think that it's, you know, it's a little bit too much. But there is a market for this. Even if this thing is, clo is worth close to 50 grand, the way it's equipped. So I'll put the, I'll put the real price up here. And uh, I'd like to thank. Uh, Cibo Marine, uh, which is a Polaris dealer, is located in Saint Agathe des Monts, Quebec. This is probably the only, the only demo general in Canada at this time, and I'm very, very fortunate that they actually uh, agreed to lend it to me to go beat around on it in the bush and uh, give you, uh, you know, to make a review of it. Because actually, I have I have never seen this this model reviewed anywhere out there. So <clears throat> here we go. I'm, I'm still, it's like, it's like it's a two-seater. I really don't feel it much unless I'm in, uh, I'm in deep, deep stuff and spinning. I can feel the wheels are further back. But if I'm just bombing around normally, I don't feel that I have a, I have a huge heavy four-seater right now. And this is a, its best quality because it's got go, it's got steering. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't lean. The sway bars are just awesome. Did you an in, insane amount of work to keep this machine planted? Like I, I said, it's a four-seater. It's a heavyweight. 
Your power steering is like, uh, you know, Polaris. Polaris. I, I've had some of the best power steering out there, and it's uh, it's speed sensitive. Uh, I really like. Uh, I really really like this machine. <clears throat> so the the yays and nays. Uh, we'll start by the nays. Uh, that vibration in the floor is really annoying, but it might just be this unit. So uh, I'll make it known to uh, to the dealership that it has this vibration in the floor. Might be something wrong uh, with uh, with a U-joint or the center bearing for the front drive shaft. It's uh, something that we see a little bit. Uh, especially this one's been working a little bit, so we'll see. Might be that. Uh, and the, the, the windshield is awesome. I love the windshield wiper. The thing is, is I'm 6'3", and I got this thing here that's right in my line of sight. The wiper also, especially if I'm going downhill and I want to see what's happening, I have to lean down. You know, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a little gripe. It's not that bad, you know. It, it's, not <clears throat> it's not a deal breaker, but it's, it's annoying. And uh, that's about it. The rest, uh, supreme handling. This thing handles like a beast. Uh, it's sharp. It's precise. I really, really, really like this unit for what it is. <clears throat> it is an awesome machine. So, if you like what you see, and I thank you for watching with us today. Let's clean that windshield. Yeah, it's got a windshield washer. <laughs> so cool. So, if you like what you see, please take take a minute of your time and uh, subscribe, and please give us a thumbs up. The thumbs up is always. Uh, what uh, what helps us uh, getting our content showed to other uh, people that are watching YouTube out there. So thank you very much for being with us. And please join us on our Facebook group, which is the Canadian ATV UTV Nation. Uh, we're uh, close to 25,000 over there. And uh, it's a nice place and you can actually ask uh, questions, technical stuff, and you won't get laughed at or say whatever. Uh, this is, you know, our group is really, really cool. And I'm there most of the time. So I'm Mark, behind that camera is uh, my friend Carl, and beside me is my daughter Kellyanne, and this is the ATV guys. We'll see you later.